In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect GTP3 to Google Sheets so you can start generating Google spreadsheet content using OpenAI. So go ahead and open a blank spreadsheet. So here I'm going to give it a simple title, how to connect to OpenAI. Now on Google Sheets navigation bar, go to extensions and on this drop down, go to apps script. Now here you'll see this function, just go ahead and delete it. Okay, so now go to the first link in this video description. It's going to take you to this page, copy this GPT-3 Google Sheets integration script. So go ahead and scroll down and click on this text area and go ahead and copy the GTP integration script. Now go back to your Google Sheets tab and paste it right here. You might need to click allow button to paste it. Now go ahead and press on the save button over here. It's going to generate an error. And that's because we still need to enter our secret key here, which you still need to generate on your OpenAI account. And that's what we're going to do in the next step. So go ahead and open a new tab in your browser. Go to openai.com. Register an OpenAI account here if you need to. Go to API and log in into your account here. Now on your OpenAI dashboard in the upper right corner, go to Personal and go to View API Keys. Now here, click on this Create New Secret Key button. You'll see the message API key generated. So go ahead and copy this. So go back to your Google Sheets. Go ahead and paste your OpenAI key that we just generated, but make sure to use double quotes around your API key value like this. Now go ahead and click the Save button again. And this time it should save with no problem. So basically this script gives us a new formula defined by this function called AI. It takes three parameters, two of which are optional. Prompt is the GPT-3 natural language string you're going to type. Then we have temperature, which by default is set to 0.4. It's the level of creativity that the GPT-3 is going to use generating your response message. The more creative it is, the longer it's going to take to generate. The value of one produces highest degree of creativity. Then we have text DaVinci 003, which is the GPT-3 model we're going to use. And that comes from our OpenAI dashboard. Basically, every time you use this, you're going to be charged about two cents. Okay, so in the next part of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use OpenAI's GPT-3 with Google Sheets. Okay, so here in my how to connect to OpenAI Google Sheets project, I'm going to click on the first cell and type equals AI open parenthesis double quote. And here we're going to enter our prompt. So here, for example, I'm going to type what are some of the use cases for GPT-3 with Google Sheets. So now just press enter and OpenAI will start doing the work for you. Now, after about three seconds, we'll see the results of the use cases for GPT-3 in Google Sheets. Here I have number one, Automated data analysis GPT-3 can be used to generate insights from data stored in Google Sheets. For example, it can be used to identify patterns in large data sets, identify correlations between different variables, and generate predictive models. Natural language processing GPT-3 can be used to process natural language queries and commands in Google Sheets. GPT-3 can be used to generate reports and summaries from data stored in the spreadsheet. Number three, automated report generation. GPT-3 can be used to generate automated reports from data stored in Google Sheets. This can be used to generate summaries and insights that can be used to make decisions. And finally, GPT-3 can be used to automate data entry tasks in Google Sheets. Now, keep in mind, every time you do this, you're going to pay two cents to open AI. So I'm going to go ahead and give you another example. Generate three clickbait titles. 
And here, GPT-3 generated our clickbait titles. You won't believe what happened when we tried this simple trick and two other ones. So guys, that's pretty much how you set up GPT-3 for using prompt generation for your Google Sheets.